Ron Ruscio, welcome to the studio. Bloody Layla, welcome to the studio. You can't lay off what you never had. It's a point we keep trying to make. So this may be an economic downturn in, in terms of things like GDP, but I don't think you're going to see the accompanying layoffs that go with it. Again, everybody thinks, as you know, one of the expressions we're saying, everybody thinks we're in a recession besides the labor market. If the drop that people were thinking was going to come because they thought maybe, you know, the, a recession meant, you know, less jobs, we are not in that situation. We we're still have 11 and a half, uh, roughly 11 and a half million job openings. So you still see an economy where so many industries are trying to hire. Uh, they hired at a rate that they've been hiring at uh, consistently over the past couple of months. So I don't find this report particularly surprising. You know, to understand quits, you need to remember that, again, these people that are quitting is not that they're quitting the the labor market uh, and then they're leaving forever, right? They're quitting their job and they're finding another one. Overall employment and leisure compared to where we were pre-pandemic is still much lower. So, you know, as jobs keep getting added, that doesn't necessarily mean that everything is back to where we were before. The layoffs essentially at this moment are also low. You know, companies, it's not like they are laying off you know, millions of people. And so as long as layoffs are low, quit rates are going to be high because employees feeling that if they quit, they can find a better job. Quits were also a little changed. So I think the, the kind of big takeaway here is everything was a little changed. We'll see in, on Friday um, if we can shed a little bit more light on the situation and we'll see in another month uh, if we're still doing well. But um, as we've been talking about, you know, there's there's been all this talk uh, and fear of recession and, and we're really not seeing that burnout out in this report. For anybody who's been growing up in the past 30, 40 years, we were used to downturns in the economy being accompanied by layoffs, but that's simply not true anymore because we never were able to hire up as our economy was trying to overheat. You know, companies certainly tried to hire up. You saw job openings go into the stratosphere, but we were never filling those job openings to any great degree.